All right, guys, welcome to another video. We are out in the garage today. Quick little video about some tips and some attachments that I think you definitely need if you are getting a Hobie compass. Mine is pretty dirty at the moment. I use it pretty much once, if not more, a week, and I've had it for years. And I do all sorts of fishing, so finesse lure fishing, normal lure fishing, and even bait fishing. I've got the anchor trolley on there, we sit up and soak baits. But these, are the top three I reckon you have to have in every compass for whatever fishing you're doing. All right, first up we have switching over to a square hatch. It normally comes with the circle one. Definitely recommend upgrading, getting that put in there. But there is one thing you also need. These, made by Burley Pro rather than the Hobie ones. Get the Hobie ones and you try to put that in there. It doesn't quite fit as nicely, you have to push it down a lot more. These edges sit up and it's a lot harder to close. That just fits in perfectly. I've got a couple of them. So at the moment, that's my bait setup one for all my bait stuff that I need. And I have a lure one that's set up as well for my lure fishing. So I can just swap them in and out pretty easily. All right, number two, another Burley Pro product. Um, it is the seat risers here raises you screw that one in and it lifts your seat up just that bit extra so you can fit tackle trays underneath your seat a lot easier and you don't actually end up sitting on your tackle trays with the extra bow in the mesh from your seat it's for, it fits really well so they're sliding them in slide in a lot easier even with that little bungee cord and you can sit on there and you're not actually hitting these, which is really nice, which you used to have when I didn't have them. Put those under and they get stuck. You can't pull them out easy unless you pretty much stand up or release some weight, then you can get them out. So that is really handy for extra storage. Number three, just flipped over the kayak. Again, another Burley Pro product, um, this transducer cover because when you are dragging your kayak, you're doing all sorts of fishing, you don't want your transducer copping all the rocks, stones, branches you don't see coming, anything. You want it protected, all right? And this does a great job of that. Now, you don't need one of those if you're not doing side scan, but so many tr um, transducers these days with your sounders have side scan and it is just, makes fishing so much easier so you can't go past having one of them to protect your transducer and you get a really nice picture on your side scan hope you guys enjoyed a real quick one there are three mods or attachments you need to buy for a compass i reckon for any type of fishing you need to get those three the rest is up to you what you like but those three i don't think you could go without catches in the next one